look, I don't see it as a bad thing. I think it's a W. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, nobody's coming out of pocket anyway. So, uh, at the end of the day, your company is going to pay for it. Well, you know, if you if if you pay for your, you know, if you if you pay for your license out of pocket, you know, there's some companies that will reimburse for, you know, reimburse you for school. You know, I mean, when I went to U.S. Express, that's what I was getting. I was getting the, I was getting reimbursed for my schooling. But uh, that's something that's something also that people need to find out, too, if. You know, if they don't do no sign-on bonus, it, do they do a, you know, tuition reimbursement? But I think it's going to be more so the major carriers that's going to do that than uh, a mom and pop or, you know, a, a smaller company. You know, I, I could see, you know, Swift, Prime, Snyder, and the rest of them uh, giving reimbursements. I, I can't see... I can't see no smaller companies uh, offering that if if you pay out of pocket, even though paying out of pocket is still the best way to go. But I mean, if you're how you figure that? What paying out of pocket is yeah. the best way to go? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Why, yeah. Shit, why? Because I I feel paying out of pocket is that you know you you not subjected to to. Uh, to any company scrutiny, like you know, you gotta. You still, you look. You still not. You still not. How 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 is that, Skinny? Talk talk to me because if I, I go, if I, I, I never, go to, if I go to Prime, if I go to Prime and get my CDLs through them, then I have to sign. Well, I don't think they make you sign a contract now, but you have to sign some type of agreement with them in order for them to pay for. I mean, pay off your CDLs. Right. But paying out of now, pocket. Now, 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 hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. It's hold on. more risky. You're taking more of a risk mm -hmm. paying out of your own pocket mm -hmm. than you are letting them pay for it. Now, mm -hmm. I I went through Snyder. They paid for it. Did I did I ever pay them off? No. <laughs> Look, they can't they can't take your CD out. No, nah, they so can't, they, it's, they can't take it's, the CDL, but they can they can mess up your credit though. They can mess up your credit. I mean, they can't mess up your credit. At the most, it's uh right now you say it's probably gonna go up, but when I was there, it was five grand. Right, five grand ain't gonna mess up. At the end of the day, you, you let that sit. Look, this is the game. Hey. Look, you let that sit. You let that sit. Let the, let it let it go to collections. Let it go. Okay. I know. Okay. I know people don't like that. Let it go to collections, right? Mm -hmm. Then collections going to call you and say, hey, look, we'll make a deal with you. So you still not, you're going to pay less than half of what you, and it's all off your credit. So I still think it's less risk I, to. I, I, I mean, I, I, I can agree with you to a point, but still, that's, <laughs> it's still gonna be on your credit, regardless. If you, if they call, if collections call you up and be like, "Hey, you know, we know you owe five thousand dollars, but we wanted, you know, if you want to pay now, we can offer you a deal of, you know, twenty five hundred. And then some people, you know, they they will jump on that, but it will still be on your credit. I mean, it I mean, ain't on. It I mean, ain't on my credit. I mean, back in the day, like, you know, back in the day for me, I wouldn't, uh, you know, I wouldn't give a care about my credit. But now I do give a care about my credit, <laughs> you know, because yeah, I'm yeah. still credit, trying to build look, it. You know, credit is not, look, I'm not, I'm not condoning <laughs> to the mess of your credit. But, but I am condoning the fact that uh, this is not. We're not talking tens to twenty thousands of dollars. At that point, it's not going to hurt you. Uh, and like I said, I've never paid Snyder their money, so I think it's just less risk. I I mean, you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people that came through the through the CDL program didn't didn't pay. You know, they got they. 
they got their CDLs and they still, you know, the whoever whoever they went through or whatever the case, uh, of course they, you know, they didn't they didn't you know they didn't pay or they couldn't pay or they just refused to pay or they just let it ride out into the sunset. But you're right, they're not gonna they're not gonna take your CDL and they can't and they can't baller block you from getting the from getting another job either because you know the the court case was won against I I'm not sure I think it, I'm going to go out on a limb and say CR England I think it was won against them where they you know try to baller block people from coming in you know getting other other jobs and all like that and I think they lost that but um but yeah, you know, companies now, you know, would you get your CDLs through? That's why they changed their whole program because now it's not about okay, well, here, sign this contract for you know a year, a, a, a year and a half, or whatever, whatever. Now they got you actually signing the uh, the um, finance company that's financing. Your CDL. That's what they. That's what these. That's what they doing now. So yeah, if you decide to jump ship with the company, yeah, that finance company that you signed off with is gonna come after you. So yeah. Let me let me change. Let me let me ask you a question. This yeah, Snyder Snyder gave me a year contract, and uh, I did six months. So that cut it in half. So then at that point, I was, what, 2500 and went to collections, and I told them to shove it. <laughs> and, I, and I've been moving there since. Like, it's not even on my credit anymore. Well, like I said before, they're they not going to, they, they you know, companies that it, it, if you get your CDLs, because they, they did it a lot with CRST and CR England, you know, People went in there just just to get their license, only to just leave them after, you know, after a month or two and and go somewhere else. And they'd be like, OK, well, they they send the they send the bill and they'd be like, man, bump that. We I ain't going through all that. Y'all about to give me like like 30 cent a mile and not going through all of that. So but what they can't do. What, what these companies can't do, they can't take, you know, they can't go back and say, okay, well, we, we want our license back. They, they, they can't do that. <laughs> they can't do it. They no. can't burnish your stuff. Right. So, and, so they can't, I, and they can't baller block you no more either. Yeah. So my, so, so my plan is less risky opposed. All right. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. When you pay for school, Mm -hmm. Did you have to pay before you started school or after you completed? No, 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 no bro. You got to pay before, or at least I. Okay, pay. so I, so, I had to pay before. so so now, so now I win the debate because you are very risky with that. Because what if you don't complete school? School is actually really hard. Believe I mean, we all, I don't know. School is hard. So what if you don't complete? You now you're out of that money. Well, you well. Let's hold up, hold up now. School's hold, hard, bro. Now hold up. School's hard. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You, 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 you right. You right. School is, you know, school is hard, and you know when. Now I think my, uh, I think my school. Uh, I think they give you like maybe a grace period, maybe about you know maybe the first two weeks or something like that that they would you know if if you just can't get it at all and i'm i'm just going out on a limb as a matter of fact i'm i'm invited to their uh to their thing in about a month so i would definitely ask that question but uh i'm i'm just thinking when i went and i you know what i heard through when i went i think it was like the first two weeks or uh, or when you get into the truck and you just can't get it, then I think you would get maybe about either half or a third of your money back. Um, 
definitely not the money for your, you know, your DOT and all the all the other fines that you got to pay, you know, pay them for. But, you know, the actual, you know, actual money you'll get half, you know, maybe about half or maybe a quarterback. Now, I get what you're saying, man. Hey, hey, listen, listen. It's a loss. It's a loss, bro. I, I, it's I a see loss. what you're saying. You know, I, hey, listen, I hear you. I see what you're saying. But what the schools would do, though, here's the schools will work with you all the way to the end until you get your CDL. And it's just the fact that you, the person, got to put in the work. The school will work because, like I said, the one guy it was it was one guy in our class that need that needed additional you know additional work, and they you know they worked with him like about an extra month month and a half. So they will. Uh, how long was your school? I let me see. I when I when I went when I went I got uh I paid for it. In August, school started in September. I took the nights because I I didn't uh, want uh, I took the nights, but uh, I didn't want to do the days, you know, because I you know I had uh you know I had to work, but I I took the nights, so it it took us all the way up until December. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that clear as day dang um, you was in school forever oh, okay. the... I, like i said we 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 did nights no because we did nights or you know like during the day it's like 12 hours it's like 12 hours during the day at night it had to be half of that because uh you know we we came in let me see we came in from six in the evening to maybe nine. Yeah, we came in at six in the evening to like nine o'clock. So we, you know, of course we had to stretch ours out, but for the people that went in, you know, for the day, it was 12 hours during the day and they was able to get, you know, of course they was able to get theirs within the, you know, within the three, four weeks of, of the program. We the one that took the the three hours at night had to be spread out, so that's why that's why it took so long. But it kind of worked out better in our well. I don't know about the other guys, but it worked out better in my favor because not only did we get night training, uh, night driving, we also got weather driving too because you know we, you know we went all the way up into December and I'd say maybe around. Uh, the last week of October, we had that big ass winter storm, and we uh we we took full advantage of that. So it kind of oh, y'all out. did a lot of stuff, man. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, we got our school. They just they trained us to pass the test. That's as simple as it gets. Now, as far as truck training, that was with the company, mm-hmm. but as far as school training, they just trained us to pass the test. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> if you paying your money, I guess you get the the full plate. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you definitely paying gonna, it. right. You definitely going to get the full plate if you paying if if you paying your money. You know, right? That's paying. that's pros and cons Don't with it. That's your pros and cons right there. You mm-hmm. know, you'll get a full experience and really learn something. <laughs> but me, <laughs> me, if you want to get it quick, you want to get your CDL. And you don't want to come out of pocket minus, you know, paying for your license. <laughs> Listen, it's the best way to go. Like, like, like I said, there, like I said, I agree with you. There's, 